if you get to hang out with Warren Miller, you are a lucky person because he gave you a lot of perspective on life. And one thing he said to me really early on, he said, Dan, if you hold on to your skis, they'll be like a jet airliner and they'll take you all over the world. And I believed him. And I knew hanging out with him, I had a shot of making that happen. As we progressed in our career, Warren would say things to me like, Dan, there's no book that says you have to work here and live there. You can work and live wherever you want. That sort of uh, big open-minded thinking fit in perfect for me. I see the world as a small place. And you know, it's that old saying, just say yes before you say no. And uh, Warren was a big believer in that. And whenever there was an opportunity presented to me on my skis, I just said yes. I've always loved chaos. I just have always thrived around chaos. When somebody says, meet me at the mountain at seven, we're gonna put you on the first lift of the day and take you up to the biggest cornice and you get to jump off before the ski area opens, perfect. You know, you just, you fire up. I was just a, a wide-eyed Irish kid punching it off every cliff I could. I mean, just kind of hanging on and going for it and climb, ski, huck, repeat. Most of those early movies, when I watch them, triggers all the memories for me. I, I go right back to it. My ski career paralleled the geopolitical landscape of the 1980s and 1990s. I went to Warren in the 80s and told him I wanted to go all around the world wherever CNN was. And he loved that idea. Because Warren said that if everybody skied, there'd be no wars. So when I told Warren I was heading off to the Berlin Wall in 1989, he was like freaking out. We first came to Big Sky in the 80s, and this was a special spot. We drove up that road and we saw Lone Peak, and we were like, game on. I've found that over the last, really, almost 30 years, my relationship with Lone Peak has only gotten better. It's the perfect place for a steep camp. One, you have Lone Peak, you've got the A to Z shoots, you've got headwaters, but you have bumps, you have trees, you have beautiful groomed slopes. And for me, I've found a home here. At the Dan Egan Steep Camps here at Big Sky, I teach skiing from the head down, not the feet up. All right, Chris, you have a good one, Kay. All right. I help people free themselves of their critical mind. Stop judging yourself. Don't let performance ruin a good day of skiing. I tell everybody who comes to the camps, what you think about your skiing is none of your business. And uh, from there, we begin. I'm a skier. I ski. It doesn't matter to me if it's raining. It doesn't matter to me if it's foggy. I'm happy gliding on, over, and through snow. My best ski runs, I'm floating somewhere above my head watching myself ski. 